everybody! Today we are headed off to take care of a kitchen sink in Hollis, New Hampshire. So wish us luck, stay tuned, and we really hope to see you at the end of the video. Turn left onto West Hollis Street. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. We're all clogged up in here. Alright, let's take a peek and see what we got. Thank you. So we have uh, two sinks. This one and this one. And they're for a while when you when this would be draining, you hear a little gurgling over there. Okay. And I would on occasion put Drano down here and it would the gurgling would stop. Okay. Then yesterday I came home from work late last night around eleven and they said they were working on it all at night trying to clear it by plunging it. Uh, uh, putting um, Drano type products down there and it just couldn't unclog. Okay, do you have... know the last product they put in it? Yeah, it was, uh... oh, I can't remember. It was... was it just, dra it was, was it was just it Drano? Drano? It was like a Drano type. It was a... Uh, um... It was a drain defense by Zep. Maybe. It's septic safe. Yeah, they were septic safe. They okay. Were... This is one of the ones we've used. Oh, I like that you have clean outs, that's for sure. This one here, Zep, we used that. Okay. And then there was another one in a green bottle. There were two of them together, like in a package. Okay. That my stepson got from Home Depot. Okay, yeah, we're, we just don't, the ones that get us worried or if they're in like the plastic bag, the bottle oh. that's in the plastic bag, because those aren't good for our cables or your health, really. No. Can you, is your basement finished? Yeah. So this is the, the main line comes out this way. Okay. Now, everything else is running pretty good. I mean, the, the bathroom ones in the master bathroom are not the greatest, but they've never been good. Um, but yeah, so this is the main, and this goes out to the, you know, the... Uh, to the holding, holding tank, tank, and then it, yeah. that just recently got pumped out. So. Okay. Yeah, we just like to know where it is so that we can kind of follow that to see where your kitchen sinks yeah, would probably, come down. Um, I'm wondering if it's well, this... The, the, the kitchen is right up here. The kitchen is, this is where the, the refrigerator is. Okay. And that, that's, that's, that was from... The refrigerator because I put a new filter on and that started leaking. <laughs> yeah, it was a defective filter, but um, and that was from the, a while ago. So the, yeah, so the sink is there. Okay. Uh, and That's the, other the sink is and then the island right sink about here. right about here. Yeah. Okay. And then so I suspect that there's a pipe that runs down maybe here and then over or something. So I can show you on under the sink. Like two, I see two access. Yeah, the the, the two cleanouts, which yeah. I we love it we when we see already. those. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, we love it when we because see those. Because one is for that sink and the other one is for the. I don't know. They they, they seem both to kind should of merge. tie together. Yeah. They kind of merge up up above, I think. Right. Up in the back there. I don't know. Ow. Okay. Oh yeah, that's weird. That's really weird. But yeah, we'll go through one of those and clean it out, so. Yeah. They both connect oh, together. They both connect so anywhere. both of these sinks probably connect together before they go over to the bathroom. So uh, where did you say that bathroom was? Right here? Yeah. So it's this one? Yes. Okay. Okay, so it's not actually as far as I thought it was. That's perfect. Okay. okay. So we'll pull that stuff out from underneath and we'll get some equipment and we'll get in here and get it snaked out for you. Okay, thank you. Okay? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. It's, uh, I mean, like, you can't use your kitchen. You're really, like... It, some, yeah, we, we hear that some. a lot, actually. It's like you can live... Sometimes you can live without electricity because you can get a generator. Yeah. But when you can't use water, it's... Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> very frustrating water for us. So my husband and I will be right back in. His name is Bob. My name is Shell. So do you guys use your garbage disposal often or? Um, I would say moderately, no. Okay. Probably should stop using it. 
Um, you don't necessarily have to stop using it. There are um, different ways, if you will, that uh, a lot of people are not familiar with about how to use the garbage disposal. I know it sounds kind of funny um, explaining it, but if you fill your sink up about half to three quarters of the way full, and then you scrape in your food scraps that you want to put down the garbage disposal, and then you turn on the garbage disposal and then you, and then you pull the plug, it gives all the food waste that you want to go down there enough water force behind it to be able to rinse it through the pipe. Do you think this is a garbage disposal problem? It, it's very possible. How often does it, how many times is it backed up on you? Well, this is the first time it's backed up like this. Okay. Uh, the other, like I said, every now and then I hear a gurgling sound, even just from running the water here. And how long have you been here? Since 2008. And has, have you always had the garbage disposal? Yes. Okay. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, so you guys are obviously not putting down things that you probably shouldn't. Try not to. So, which is good. Um, it's just, it, it happens over time. It even happens at our house and we're drain cleaners. But I mean, from 2008 to 2022, I think you guys are, are doing a pretty good job at um, however you're using your disposal. If you haven't had it back up. Really? Yeah, it's it's kind of expected with the garbage disposal. My wife, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. I can't see you, but hi. She's the one who does all the artwork in the basement. Well, it's gorgeous. We worked three hours on this yesterday. <laughs> Didn't get anywhere. Yeah, but she's, you know, she's, yeah, she's sure. opening it over there. Eric even got a pen out of it. A what? A pen. Oh, yeah, he sucked out a pen. A Did pen? Mm-hmm. That was probably in the trap. Oh, yeah, I went through the... Oh, I have to go to the boss to bring some painting. I actually have a medical background. Also? And I prefer to do this. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for medical? Um, I, it's, it's just basic. It's not like a nurse or a doctor. I have a, my PCT, so it's a patient care technician. Oh. And then I have... Um, my phlebotomy, my LNA, and my EKG license. Oh, really? Yeah. How do you like it? Is it fun? Reading x rays all day? All day. Yeah. <laughs> all day and all night. All right. I'm going to dump this in your toilet and then I'm going to drain out some more. I got to do it slowly so it doesn't make a big mess. Yeah. So. Oh my God. That's good. My son was. <laughs> he made. We're a huge mess here. Uh, he was like, he was playing in this dirty water. Uh, I, I try not to make a mess. I don't want to make a mess. This is, this is my husband, Bob. Well, what kind of figure? Uh, <laughs> almost done getting it oh, down. Oh, big snake? Yep. Yeah. Sounds like a 25 or uh, this one's got 50. Okay. Um, so the reason why I was like trying to explain it to you is because you there's two cleanouts here, but they like you up at the top. Yeah. I don't understand how this one and this one are coming. Well, this one goes up to here, and then... It's a different side. Oh, the bow vent. Oh. One vent, one the This one, uh, for many years, you would hear gurgling over there when this was running. Right. And then 
but this one always drains. Yeah. And uh, every now and then I would put Drano in this one, like maybe once every couple months, because it wasn't draining well, but it was still draining. Yeah. And then I guess last night it just completely clogged up. Well, I got probably one well, more, and then. I mean, if this is clogged up over here, probably some, you know, this is going to. Yeah, because I think I ended up emptying that sink at the same time. Yeah, yeah that's down. That's down that's so then all the pipe, you know, from well, here over to here is so still water. So this is connecting oh, yeah. well. It's this one that will go. Well, the, it's it's probably both because so the way that it works is if you think about it, like the veins and stuff in your body, right? right. They they all connect together. And then the plumbing in your body does the same thing. So when you eat something, it all connects down and goes through and has to have an exit point. So all of your smaller pipes connect to the bigger pipe in your basement, and then it leaves. What do you do to study to become a plumber? You make more money than Actually, you make more money in drain cleaning than you do as a plumber, to be honest with you. I mean, they're both decent livings, but my husband and I like the drain cleaning side of it just because we don't have to be chasing parts. My husband taught me everything I know. Wow. Right? You taught me everything I know about this. Now you just learn what a bullvent is. Yes, I did. I love this kind of stuff. I'm like fascinated. She's a painter. So, on this sink, you have every drain should have a vent on it. Mm -hmm. So, this thing is going to go from the wall and then a vent goes up into the roof. Mm -hmm. the thing. On an island sink like this, you wouldn't want an ugly pipe sticking up right here to right. connect to the sink. So, what they do is they, put, they call it bullvent. Yep. I tell everyone I I prefer doing this over working at a doctor's office or something yeah, like that people. because dealing with people is terrible. Well, the pipes don't yell at me. Exactly. People are, a lot of people are very nice and some people are very nice. Yes, yes. Sink on cold water just slowly.
these ones? Oh, okay. Do you want to fill up those ones too? Oh, okay. Did you find a, a obstruction? Um, I think it was just a lot of buildup right at one of the the 90 degree bends in the okay. in the pipe downstairs, but um, it felt tight, but then it, it went right through okay, so. Do you think it was somewhere down there that it was occluded? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was. Somewhere after this point. Right, it was a 90 somewhere down that way. Okay. This comes over and Oh, it goes over there. there and then goes over. Oh, yeah, right. Because right. that's that wall that I pointed up and I said, this is where she is right here? Yeah. Yeah. This one comes over, moves uh, down and comes over, then goes to the length all the way to the main line. I was going to move that and use that rag to dry the... Good. Actually running. It just shows that the vents working properly. You want to get that good swirl. No, so no the lock. vent is working? Yeah. There's no, there's no clog in that bowl vent. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to dry out that cabinet and I'll come back out and get the book. Alrighty, everybody. That takes care of that one. We hope you enjoyed and stayed all the way to the end of the video. It wasn't that bad. Super straightforward. Easy one. Bob taught me what a bow vent was, which is really cool because I didn't understand why it was viewed at the top where those two cleanouts were. So I hope you enjoyed, and as always remember, be amazing. Thanks, bye.